Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So recently I was out working portable and tried to connect to my favorite Winlink uh, station and for whatever reason was unable to make the connection. And then it dawned on me I didn't really have a list put together of other stations that I could connect to and had nothing on my pie uh, for reference. And that was a huge fail on my part. So I decided to do something about it and started digging into it a little bit. So one of the commands built in for PAT, uh, if you open the terminal, you can just type in PAT RMS list. Unfortunately, it returns this huge list of every mode uh, and every band that's uh, a nightmare to try to sort through. So you can do a little bit of filtering with it. So you could say PAT RMS list uh, dash dash mode and RDOP. And that would cut it out uh, a little bit, or cut the list down a little bit for you. Uh, so that at least cuts it to just the RDOP stations, uh, but still it gives you every band uh, available out there. So we could do uh, something a little bit uh, more than that. So we could say mode RDOP, and then dash dash mode, or uh, sorry, band. And we could say, for instance, 80 meters. So now we've got it cut down to just RDOP and just 80 meters, but still it's a pretty lengthy list. Whoop, scroll past it. Still it's a pretty lengthy list to try to sort through. So I thought surely there's got to be a better way to do it. Well, I couldn't figure it out, so I ended up writing a script to help sort that list when I needed it in the future. So let's see about installing that script today. So the first thing we need to do is move over to our downloads folder. So CD space downloads. Yep, and my directory happens to be empty. So let's go over to a website so we can copy the two scripts that we need. All right, so here we are on my GitHub. And I'll leave a link uh, in the description below so you'll be able to find it. So the first we want to get is this uh, git rdop list. So if you'll click into it and then click the raw button. And at that point, we want to come up to the address bar and copy that address. Now let's go back over to our pi and use the wget command. So wget and then paste in that link that we just copied. And let's go ahead and hit enter and that'll grab that. Now if we run a list command, you'll see that we have that file. Let's head back over to the GitHub site and get one more file. So I'm just going to use the back button uh, twice. And we're going to come down to find RDOP. And we'll click into it. And just like before, let's click on the raw file. And then let's copy that link at the top of the screen. All right, once again on the Pi, let's run wget. And paste in the new command. Or the new link, rather. All right, and let's save that one. So let's go ahead and clear the screen. And let's run the list command again, and you'll see that we've got both of those files downloaded. Now we need to make both of those executable. To do that, let's run sudo uh, chmod plus x find rdop. And then let's run that same command again for the other file. So sudo chmod plus x get rdop list. All right, and you'll see that both of those are now executable. All right, so let's go ahead and move those files to the folder that they need to be in. So let's use sudo mv find rdop forward slash usr, forward slash local, forward slash bin. And one more time, we'll move the other one. So sudo mv get rdop list. And forward slash again, user local bin. Okay, so now let's go ahead and move to our documents folder. We're going to use the wget command again, and this time we're going to paste a link for a map. 
and let's hit return again to download that map. All right, clear the screen and you'll see that we have our map. Now the script I wrote uses a program called events and I wanna go ahead and install it to make the uh, map easier to view on our system. So we'll use sudo app get install events, E-V-I-N-C-E. All right, now that that's done, let's go ahead and clear the screen. And we can use one of the new scripts that we just downloaded by typing find rdop at the command line. All right, and when you do this, you're going to notice it says, please download the files before proceeding. Um, and you'll run get rdop list to download the files. You won't see this once you've done the initial download of the files, but to do the initial download, let's run get rdop list. And once that completes, let's go ahead and run find rdop again. Now it'll bring you up to this screen. From the main screen, you've got a few different options uh, that you can do. You want to either set your grid, view the map, download the list, or quit. So if you want to grab a, a fresh download right before you leave out to the field, you could hit option three. It would go through the download process again. But let's take a look at uh, the map real quick because we need to figure out a grid square uh, that we can try to connect to, find out what RDOP stations might be in that area. So we'll hit 2 to view the map. And now you'll see that we have a map of the U.S. So let's see if we can zoom in on that a little bit. All right, so I'm over here in Tennessee, so let's say I wanted to connect to something in this area here. This is the FM grid, and you can even be a bit more specific by selecting the two numbers that follow FM. But let's assume that we're going to use something right over in this area, but we're not real sure exactly what the small grid is. We can just use FM. So let's close out of the map, and now let's say set the grid by entering 1. It'll ask us for the grid to be searched, in this case, FM. And then it's going to ask us what band we'd like to use. So let's just choose 40 meters. And there you go. Now you've got an easy list to work with. This is every 40 meter RDOP station in the FM grid. So it's a little easier to kind of narrow down stations that you want to use. If you decided that 40 meters wouldn't work for you, from this screen here, you could choose three for 80 meters, hit return, and those results would change to 80 meters. So it's just a little bit easier to work with. One other thing that I do for this, we'll go ahead and exit out of this. I have it download a new list every evening for me. If you'd like to do that, it's pretty easy. Let's run crontab. Dash e. Now, since I've never run cron on this machine, it's asking me which editor I want to use. I'm familiar with Nano, so I'm going to choose option 2. We'll scroll down to the bottom. And here, I'm going to enter 30, space 22, and then 3 stars with spaces between them. So this cron job will run at 2230 hours every day of the month, every month of the year, and every day of the week. And then we want to say forward slash USR, forward slash local, forward slash bin, forward slash get rdop list. So now every night at 1030, this thing is going to go ahead and download the list that we need to be able to use this once we're in the field and don't have an internet connection. To get out of this, you'll press Control X, Y, and Enter. And that takes you back to this screen. And that's all there is to it, guys. 
I hope you find this useful and it helps you the next time you're in the field without an internet connection. All right, until next time, 7-3.